you to thrive compared to your normal Koshi, which maybe is less ready. Anyway, we've pulled Koshi to scratch a lot, so that's nice to have. Parasite Heatwave. We don't like the Witch Apprentice. Thrive is good. Fiend is okay. Again, I want to get rid of you for some reason. Who are we playing? Um, Arachnus Swarm. Will we need a lock? Let's assume that we need a lock. And if we're looking like we don't need a lock, then we'll swap it in the next one. Spiders, I don't know, might be hard. So maybe I do need the lock. Um, spawn a drone on allied row. Uh, zeal. So I, Veil means I can't lock him. But I have Parasite. So I could just Parasite his Kikimor Stalker. Whenever you spawn one or more insect toys, gain a charge. And the charge, damage an enemy unit by one. Um, Parasite, okay. That's what I was thinking. Um, this thing is very dangerous if not answered. Okay. It did look dangerous in the fact that they were using some of their leader ability on it. Or they could just use a leader ability for no reason. Or they're going to consume it, aren't they? Um, the question is, Golden Necker, I don't... Uh, which is Sabbath or just normal? I, IDR? Um, that seems normal. Okay, we'll come back to what you're saying, Worldman, because I'm not sure I follow. Um, so, on deploy, consume the unit, fine. Spawn and play Arrakis Nest is the order. The Nest. Organic spawns for drones. Mm. So I could lock this. And that would be annoying to him. Deathwish, spawn a base copy. Let's lock it. Damsel? You don't want to lock this thing? I feel like he's going to spawn something good with it. Not worth locking. Really? So now I should go with lava instead then. I know you said damsel, but... I guess you were saying damsel because then I can kill something of his. Because he's going to be doing something with that. Which card did he actually play? Um, damage an enemy unit by four, then spawn a drone on a random allied row for each point of excess damage dealt, which was one. Uh, he consumed drone. If he consumed IDR, then you would have to lock it. Consumed IDR. Uh... Oh, is IDR one of his other units? Anyway, now I'll damsel. Do I? No, not Oz. Have you seen my name? Um, was, so IDR, Kikimor Stalker. I don't know who IDR is. Sorry. And then what's he done this time? Predatory dive, each player destroys their lowest power unit. And, okay, so he destroyed a, a whole drone. And I destroyed something of more relevance. Um... Not even a fiend is a good job. Good use now. Toad isn't worth it. I feel like we're running out of good cards to play. Judging by his move, his plan of copying LDR. Oh, leader. Is that what you're saying? I thought it was... I don't know. Well, let's just... Even though it's not a great card to play. IDR is their insectoid pronounced like 
Eater. Um, the drone or the uh, Kikimor Stalker? This thing. So you think they were going to consume that? Purify an enemy unit and damage it by three. If you control a vampire, which they don't. Okay. And there isn't much good in any graveyard, so Oz is a bit useless. Toad? There's nothing worth toading. I mean, I can play the lock just to try and catch up, but it's... Oh, we'll catch up by one. There's nothing really worth locking. Death Wish. Spawn a base copy of the consumed unit on this row. Okay. That's what they wanted to do then. Whatever. I'm just gonna... I know it's not worth locking, but it's that or I pass. Unless I pass. It's fine. Mankind is a virus. A plague. I mean, we're equal on points. Maybe I should have passed. You consume one power token. Yeah, that was the original thing. Okay. But... Of the things that I was... Like... I don't want to play any of these cards, it's my problem. I mean, I could play Toad, but again, it feels like a waste of the Toad. I have a card. If I played Toad, I would be up. I would have four and he'd have one less, so I would be winning. Toad is the only thing I could do, which I'm happy with. But even then, I think pass. Or I play the Toad and then pass next time, but then I would have just been better not playing these two and just passing before. Toad's forcing him to card disadvantage. When you say card disadvantage, because then he'll be on to th three cards, which can't be... Um, you can't get back up to ten, but I can get back up to ten. Okay, now we pass. Yep. I was just checking there wasn't anything. Because, yeah, we don't want to play any of these cards, so... We'll have the card advantage. A real card advantage, rather than, you know, what I mostly call a card advantage. And, okay, we finally have this thing. He may be good as a sacrificial card, if they're going to play a dry round two. Um, your stream is late. Oh yeah, as in delayed. Um, I mean, they're, they're okay. Do I change anything? Hmm. I mean, we have to play as though we're going to... Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. So, deploying the range row, move any card from your deck to the top. That's what I want to play. Any card from my deck. This is my deck, right? Fisher into scenario. Yes. I like the sound of that. There's nothing else better. I mean, we could play Nagelfar, but yeah. This makes more sense. And then, in turn, and pass. Good fish of value right there. Yeah. Um, so we have K 
cat, um, Koshi, and the mana. We have two Thrive cards, which is good, although we're not going to play them both immediately. Oz, I'm not sure. Well, there are things that we can get out. Morvid's good. We probably just leave the um, the warrior in there because he plays nicely. I can't think of anything else in here that we maybe want instead. Um, I mean, we could try it. Okay. So we can also get Yig. And maybe that's how we start. Oh no, we start with Scenario. But we, we have Yig as well. This is Yig. Think of that as Yig. Um... But yes, start with scenario. And end turn. So we don't we have the thrive things and we have the high value things. So even though we may be playing Yig with not a lot of health. Yeah. It's annoying. Um, well, I suppose we play this thing. And then we don't play the damsel until we have played Koshi. That's the rule. Here's this Kikimor Queen. Whenever these units thrive is triggered. Um, boost all allied insectoids on this row by one. Whenever you play an organic card, trigger own thrive. Is this the time to play the heat wave? Yeah, you're saying heat wave. Because <laughs> how many points is this? Nine. I don't know if it's their best card or if there's a better one coming, but... It, um... It sounds like it can build up a lot of, um value, let's say. Because, what was it? Whenever the Thrive is triggered. Oh, and this is the one you've been talking about, right? Eda. Uh, whenever your opponent plays a unit on their side of the battlefield, damage it by one and gain a charge, and the order is to spawn a drone. So basically I'm giving them units. Regardless. I guess we play the cat, one, and then two. So we're going to go cat this time. Kikimor Queen can easily win a game. Glad we got rid of it. Uh, do I want to do anything else? No. So next time, order Koshi cat leader. And I have to remind myself of the order, otherwise I just forget. Oh no. They have their own Koshi. And I don't have a way to um, get rid of it. Play cat. I'm going to play Koshi, then cat. Oh, I guess you're, as me and us were saying, your, your stream's a bit behind, Berlin, so... Um, so, it's time for Koshi. And, oh yeah, we have this, which it doesn't matter which row we play it on, so we put it here. But that's triggered that, so that the cat doesn't really actually trigger this anyway. Oh no, it, it did. Because it didn't trigger, it did trigger. Because of the scenario. Right. Good. Good Koshi play. I'm just worried what they're going to play with their Koshi now. Also, they if they play a high value card, it's going to thrive some of my things. Because of the cut. Kikimor Stalker. That's what they played earlier on. Um... Okay. 
I suppose that is a way how to get points and to avoid triggering someone else's thrive. <laughs> Play something with low value, which then consumes a whole bunch of other things. Um, now we're going to play Damsel, because it will trigger Thrive on a couple of those. Um, play it before it's too late. Yes. I mean, I'll definitely play it next turn. Because I'm, I was half expecting it to get killed anyway. Um... Okay, so he's got rid of the cat. And he's using up all his charges, damaging things. Um, which is good, considering we're gonna bring out Yig. Although again, it doesn't have a lot of health, so we do expect it maybe will die in a very short amount of time. But if it dies, then that's what Oz is for. Yeah, I'm still a bit worried that they're having their own space to do things. So now we're going to bring back our... We're going to eat the Yig. Just checking there's nothing else in their graveyard. I think they had enough damage that... You know, they did three damage to it. So even if I brought it out with six cards remaining, they probably would have targeted it and got it. So... Um, Griffin. Haven't seen one of those in a while. And I guess we'll just put this one here. Right, 101 points versus 41. Wildman, you're you're less sure this time? Only probably? Yeah, probably. Got a 60 point swing and they have. The wrong what was that? Um, did they just give me a whole bunch of points? They like boosted everything by two. Um, I suppose they were assuming that they. Because they are having lots of drones and stuff that. Boosting them by two for each card is better than boosting me, but in the end, because I had lots of stuff. Um, Yennefer of... Oh, it was Yennefer, is it? Uh, of Vengerberg herself. Okay, I'll go look and see what that card actually does then. Uh, this deck works like clockwork for all newcomers. Keep it up. I mean, it's, it's able to dispatch up at least till, what are we, rank 15? Ranking up. Um, and yes, we have a new mosaic. So does that mean that we have to put this guy's face in? You know, now that we've started something, we're, we're at the party, but we have to be the most up-to-date guy at the party. And we're just going to check out Yennefer, because just to confirm what she does. I'm sure you guys all know, but I don't. Okay, there are several. I think it was this one. Uh, human Mage, expected. On melee would damage all other units by two. On range will boost all other units by two. Yeah, so it's just boosts everything. And it's good in the deck where you are playing lots of drones and stuff, which they were, but less good in a deck like mine, which also spawns extra things. And so yeah, we have the several Unifers. An Illusionist... Uh, are lots of these cards played? Divination, Conjurer, or Illusionist? 
Reveal a random unit from your deck, then boost an allied unit by its power. Seems relatively powerful. Um, there is one more Yennefer for a Nilfgaard. I mean, that's to be expected. Uh, deal one damage to the highest power enemy units. And you can do that every turn. Again, quite powerful. Although, yeah, I suppose if they got a 10 power thing, it's just going to not do very much. Although if they have lots of one, then it's going to do quite a bit. And this one, spawn Yennefer's Illusion on this row. The first time you spawn a unit on your side of the battlefield each turn, damage the lowest power enemy unit by the spawned unit's base power. First time you spawn a unit on each side of the battlefield, damage the lowest power enemy unit. Okay. So it's a bit spawny. And anyway, probably not going to use those cards. We'll just exit. And we'll go play another game. Um, actually, we completed a, our journey quest, so we don't get any more until next week, which is three days away. Which, okay. Anyway. Um, was there anything else I need to do? Play another one. We were saying maybe to create an elf start, but we'll play another one first. Everyone's run away. for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, and if you think you would enjoy more, then please subscribe, or even join me live on Twitch. Whilst it's cliche, all of these will help the channel. On screen is something carefully curated, or something the YouTube algorithm suggests, or maybe even both. In any case, have a great day.